Okay, it's flinging some water around, so just be really, really careful. And I'm gonna try this with this one. Oof, this is actually pretty cool too. Um, anyways, hey guys, it's Stone W. We're gonna try out these um, drill attachment brushes that I got. These are pretty cool. It has a three inch uh, round one, a four inch um, flat one, and also like a one and a half inch uh, small one. I'm using my Ryobi um, speed drill. Yes, but any speed drill will work. It's a 3 8 uh, speed drill. So I'm hoping this will actually save me a lot of time when cleaning my bathroom or cleaning other stuff, maybe for my wheels and stuff. But I, I'm going to try this out on mine. So, you know, I'm going to see if it actually scratches up my bathroom or, or other things. So I'm going to try it out on my bathroom first and see how it is. So this is totally um, just to clean up my bathroom because there's a lot of calcium buildup and also a lot of grime buildup too. Uh, it's been a while and I just want to make sure I clean this up. And I will see if I could do this in less than like five or 10 minutes. Of course, safety first, big disclaimer, do this on your own risk. I'm doing it on my shower so I could test this out and t try this product. But at the same time, you know, I'm just experimenting. It's for your own entertainment. And of course, safety first, just heed all the cleaning warning labels, you know, Cleaners are sometimes, you know, kind of toxic and stuff. So you want to be careful of your cleaners. And of course, wear eye protection, glo safety gloves. And of course, um, you know, you're dealing with power tools. So don't get, you know, things wet and use the safety precautions of using power tools as well. I'm going to go ahead and use regular Ajax uh, cleaner. This is just a powder cleaner. You use any other type. I'm also going to use some lime weight later for other parts. I'm going to use water first to test this out. And when using water, it flings water around. So use very, very slow speed to test and play first, of course. Definitely test it out with water first to figure out how it works. I found out that it works really well with curved stalls like, like mine. And I basically put some Ajax cleaner, which, you know, the powder cleaner with some water, mixed it around the brush, and then basically went up and down on it so I could take out most of the grime. Uh, I normally use the Ajax powder cleaner because it doesn't scratch my, um, my shower stalls and it's been working pretty well. I also use the Lime Away. I rinse everything out and use Lime Away on, on, the, on the stuff that has a lot of calcium built up or hard to reach places. But you have to be really careful. You want to make sure it's well, your restroom is well uh, ventilated and have the windows open and stuff because, and you definitely don't want to mix chemicals. So make sure you rinse it over, uh, rinse out all the chemicals before using a, a different one. Long story short is that this brush is pretty cool. I the, the three inch brush works very well for the small crevice areas, especially the round areas and the, um, the curved areas of the stall. This flat four inch brush worked extremely well on the floor and using a little bit of the Ajax, uh, I was able to clean it pretty quickly. So another thing was that using the flat one was works really well on flat surfaces, of course, and it took me about what, two or three minutes to do my entire um, stall floor and I thought that was a really good use of time. It actually cleaned up very well and it saved me from having to scrub a long time. It usually takes about a good, you know, five, ten minutes to scrub using a harsh um <laughs> the industrial um toilet brush cleaner because it has good bristles. This actually the bristles work pretty well. They work very, very well. They didn't I didn't see any bristles fall off of this thing, which I thought was a, a nice ad. Um I w was reading other reviews and stuff and it said that bristles are weak. This actually works very well. You have to do it nice and slow though. So I used a very slow speed. I didn't go super fast because I really didn't want to fling stuff around and waste the, um, the cleaner agent. Nor do I want to fling everything around and cause a lot of, um, you know, you know, cleaners to fly around and, and, you know, actually hit my skin or anything else like that. So work slowly. That's my main takeaway from this one. And of course, this is just a, like a review and stuff and look how clean it is. It's actually pretty cool. Um, very, very cool. It saves a lot of time. And of course, you know, take all the precautions in terms of cleaning and making sure you have well ventilation because you are dealing with cleaning agents. And of course, rinse everything out afterwards. As you can see, I'm actually using like a, um, a window cleaning brush to apply stuff as well as my other, um, toilet brush, the industrial one. Those are actually very useful for those things. But now that I have these, this is actually much more useful than those two. Again, this is Stone W. I hope this was helpful to you. And of course, clean everything afterwards and be careful. Stay safe. Bye-bye.